a sudden weakness in your right arm, confused looks from colleagues as your words become garbled, a severe headache that comes out of nowhere. Every two seconds, someone in the world has a stroke. When blood vessels in the brain burst or become blocked, brain cells begin to die. If not treated quickly, stroke can cause permanent damage and disability. Researchers in neurohealth at the Wu Tsai Neurosciences Institute are taking a fundamentally new approach to stroke, collaborating across disciplines at unprecedented scale. Doctors and scientists are developing new models for stroke, and engineers are designing new imaging techniques to watch how the brain changes during recovery. They are testing novel ideas about the role of inflammation in stroke damage and the connections between stroke and dementia. They are identifying biomarkers of stroke recovery and designing robots that can aid in rehabilitation. The critical thing is that they are working together, learning from each other, challenging assumptions, and bringing all their diverse skills and knowledge to bear on an illness that affects millions of people each year. That collaborative interdisciplinary approach is what defines neurohealth research at the Wu Tsai Neurosciences Institute. The diseases of the brain, from Alzheimer's to schizophrenia, autism to epilepsy, traumatic brain injury to PTSD, are vexing in their complexity. Not even the most brilliant scientist working on her own has a chance of solving them. But bring together the brightest minds and latest tools for medicine, engineering, and the life sciences on one team, and we have a real shot at progress. Stanford's approach to neural health is about getting scientists and engineers into the clinic to meet patients and understand their experiences. It's about working with Silicon Valley to invest in early stage experimental treatments. And it's about training a new generation of scientists to work outside their comfort zones, to imagine neuroscience as it's never been done before. With this community-wide approach, Stanford researchers are creating next-generation prosthetics, which could allow blind people to see and paralyzed people to move. They are creating brain organoids, tiny balls of human brain tissue grown in a test tube that allow researchers to ask questions about disease mechanisms unique to humans. They are making breakthroughs in understanding addiction from the molecular level through effective interventions and informed public policy and they are developing devices, drugs, and stem cell therapies that can treat brain disorders, and searching for molecules that could restore function after injury and rejuvenate old brains. The neurohealth community is also asking what it means to have a healthy, thriving brain, capable of learning across a lifetime, enjoying the arts and outdoors, making good decisions, forming fulfilling relationships, and managing the stress of the modern world. Research and innovation in neurohealth has entered a new era, and the Wu Tsai Neurosciences Institute is leading the way.